So today's question is very long, so let's get right into it. Hey ladies, looking gorgeous, thank you very much. I introduced another girl into our relationship. Uh -oh. ah, my friend, that is why you went wrong. Anyway, to be our play toy, but we weren't together most of the time, only when we felt like it. So we decided to go on a road trip with our other friends, and she was there. That night, my boyfriend and our toy... Wow, our toy hooked up and they were completely drunk. He told me the next day, which I appreciated. Anyway, I decided to take a break from him during that time. He continuously apologized while crying profusely, saying that it was a mistake he made. Uh, in, it was the worst mistake, biggest mistake he's made in his life, and he will never do it again. What do I do? Ah, Pony Waham Miskizi. When you introduce another person into your relationship, and I've seen this a lot, especially in long-term relationships. I have friends who have actually done this, where they've been together for so long, and the girl is feeling some type of way, some pressure to spice things up. So she decides to bring a third into their relationship ah, to have so-called threesomes. Yeah, it's exciting when you're saying it, but it's not really sustainable for for, for a monogamous relationship. It really, really is not sustainable because what's to stop the two of them from having a twosome yep. when you're not around? Yep. What's to stop you and the other person having a twosome when your boyfriend is not around? Yep. It's as simple as that. You opened this gate, you brought in this other person, and we've said this before, alcohol does not make you do anything. Mm -mm. It really does not. Mm -mm. I have been drunk before, and I knew exactly what I was doing as I was doing it. So don't blame alcohol. Yeah. I feel you started this problem, and at this point, there's no one you can blame because... Yeah, it's a problem of your making. What should you do? Maybe reevaluate your relationship. Do you want it to stay monogamous or do you want to part ways? Because, wow, the third thing is clearly not working out. As a basic an example as tea. Mm. You make tea for the first time. You add one tablespoon of sugar. Mm. And you actually do enjoy the one tablespoon of sugar. It's very yummy. It's very delicious. It tastes exactly how you want it's it to balanced. taste. Mm. Until one day, you add one and a half tablespoons of sugar. And you realize, God damn, I did not think this tea could be sweeter. Mm -hmm. Kobe, this tea can be sweeter. And immediately, you never go back. Do you ever go back to one tablespoon? It will oh. never be the same. And that's usually the exact, that is a metaphor that is exactly what threesomes are. <laughs> I thought, you would say, was, um, or <laughs> I thought you would say that uh, with one and a half, it becomes sweet for the first time. And then after a while, you're like, ah, oh, this is too sweet. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. You never go back. You add, it's like you, you, you go to roast chicken. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, no, no. When you go to town, pale, pale kaka, like a street, we all know that street rotisserie. I'm talking about. That rotisserie chicken. That chicken that just is somersaulting on, on, on that, uh, the skewers, right? Mm -hmm. You buy that chicken and you really like it. It's very nice, it's salty, it's scrunchy, it's doing it for you. And then you are taken right here to a five-star hotel where they give you chicken and you're like, wow, is this chicken soma salting in a different water? Mm. Is this chicken, is this coop, was it spot treated? Because it is soft, it is nice, it is breaking off the bone. It is exactly what you wanted. And you have the money. Do you think you will ever go to the summer salt in town? Mm -hmm. It's a lie. You will continue to proceed with the kind of chicken that you've actually now acquired a taste for. Same, same thing. Same thing. Once you start to introduce some things in your relationship, it's, 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 and, and it's not just threesomes. That's what you need to understand. It's not just threesomes. Sometimes it's other weird stuff that you start to add in the mix. You decide, ah, today you want to be, you know, to be fungwad fungwad in different places. Next thing you know, Nobody wants to go back to regular vanilla. Everybody now wants to be tied up and weird stuff is happening. Mm. You decide, you know what, today we're going to... Basically, anything you add to your relationship, just understand there are consequences. If this becomes the new normal, are you going to be happy with it? Mm -hmm. Ask yourself that. And the question will answer itself and you will refuse to do stupid things. But now that you did a stupid thing, baby girl, here's what I'm going to tell you. There is no way to blame this man you agreed to the terms right mm. this person is now officially one of you you even call her your toy didn't you yeah 
so now you only want to be, you want to be the only one playing with the toy or you want to dictate when the toy is played with it becomes very difficult unfortunately babes one of those situations where you need to re-establish laws and even when you do it can be very tricky to keep those laws because again this is a new normal yeah, yeah. me personally i advise you if you're not happy you just let it go this man is not gonna go back let it go. i don't think he will be able to enjoy the sugar with one teaspoon mm -hmm. he's just He's so gonna be at 1.5 now. It's a 1.5. It's so unfortunate, but at the end of the day, you can't blame yeah. anyone. It you was really all can't. you, babes. You really cannot. It was all you. We see the messages coming through on the number 077-79366. And of course, Shiko is tuned in. Ah, Shiko Azima. You mm -hmm. do it for us. You do it for us. By the way, it's Darcy. I haven't seen you all week. Mm. What is happening? Anne, wh where are the people? Where are you guys? What is happening? Mm -hmm. Anyway, Shiko is saying, good evening, girls. Happy Mashidade. Happy Mashidade to you too. Ish or Aish, you are glowing. Mm. I think the weekend has started early. The Friday is Furahi Daying. Kathomi's lipstick is lipsticking. Girl, thanks, ciao. And the tea is teeing. Aish, the weekend mode is activated. Activity ding. Because the dings have been <laughs> added. Sorry, Chico, I let you down <laughs> on that one. She says, on the no Friday, hashtag on the no Friday. Mm. Thank you for tuning in. What a few messages coming in. We also have Mike from Athi Riva tuned in saying hey girls looking gorgeous it's mike hi mike how you doing Yay. thank you so much for tuning in i think yeah. we are going to keep the conversation flowing for a bit before we go back to um something else mm -hmm. hey a message is still coming through ah this one is a compliment to me i'ma read it mm. someone saying kathomi kathomi you be teasing us with those legs god damn Ooh. it's the henna i'm not gonna lie Ooh. to you my legs usually look regular until you see henna on it and you're mm. like what is going on what's going on it's Do you very much i appreciate the compliment keep your messages coming through on the number 077729 the re sigis and right about now because life is for the brave hearted we're going to take a quick little break and when we come back more on the show